Well, hello, folks. This is my first attempt at doing a little bit of a let's play for Minecraft, specifically for the mod pack that I've been working on called Resonant Rise. Um, and I figured I would just start from the very beginning with this mod pack and play around with it, see how it feels. Um, this is sort of an alpha test, both for the mod pack and for me doing let's plays. I'm uh, not sure if I'll like doing it. I'm hoping that I will, because it looks like fun. And I'm really into uh, Minecraft and, you know, doing stuff with it and helping other people learn. So I figured this might be a fun thing to try. I've never really done like a YouTube thing before. So I thought I'd get started by creating a new world in this mod pack, which I'll just call Let's Play, like I guess everybody does. And I want to give it a nice seed. Uh, off the top of my head, I'll name it after my dogs. My two beautiful greyhounds. Bonus chest? Nah. So let's just let that tear. So uh, I was sort of inspired to work on a mod pack after taking a look at what Feed the Beast was doing for Direwolf 20. Uh, not to uh, wax too philosophic on such a simple thing, but Direwolf's mod pack is really cleverly designed, and I don't think people necessarily give him credit for what he's done with that mod pack. Everything in that mod pack works together really well. And uh, with the exception of possibly IC2, Industrial Craft 2, feeling a little bit dated, it's not really uh, not really a bad modded pack in any way. So uh, here's a new world. Um, and so I, in making Resonant Rise, I have tried to emulate everything interesting about uh, about his mod pack, but use mods that feed the beast and mod and uh, and that uh, I will don't use because um, for me, you know, the best thing about modded Minecraft. Whoa, my volume's a little loud there. Sorry about that. First time. <laughs> Let's just cut that way down so you can still hear it. There we go. For me, one of the best parts about modded Minecraft is that you can kind of change the game however you want. So we got lots of Henneken seeds. We got pigs. We got this is a pretty nice spawn. We got a beehive over here. I see some stuff in the distance. These are the Ars Magica flowers. Let's pick up one of those. We probably should get this to punch in a tree soon. Um, wow, kind of a pretty spawn. Poetic. Hope I can find coal, though. Without any exposed rock faces, it can be a little tough. Anyways, so uh, this pack is a lot like Direwolf 20's pack in that uh, it's kind of got a technology versus magic theme and uh, has some of my favorite mods. Uh, the linchpins amongst those are, um, uh, you know, things like uh, Thermal Expansion and Build Craft, uh, which are just fantastic mods. Uh, I get to talk to King Lemming, and I feel very privileged to do so. He's a really, he seems like a really cool guy and a pretty legit coder, so I'm happy to play with what he makes. Um, but we also have a few more things in the Buildcraft space, including uh, Liquid Metals, which is a pretty interesting mod that I'll talk about a little bit more later on. But suffice to say that most people do not give that author credit for how clever that mod is. I think it's actually a pretty clever mod um, in the way it works, and it gives some fun stuff. Just, you know, Liquid Metals are fun. Having a tank full of copper is not space efficient, but it is fun. Let's see, we got some wood here. Let's uh, plank this up. As you can see, we have inventory tweaks, and you can see a little bit more from Ars Magica peeking through there. Let's put up a crafting table. And uh, where should I make my little base? I like to put this stuff nearby. So here's some water. That'll be useful. Uh, I don't really want to build up an entire wall from nothing. It's a little early for that. So how about this hill? We'll just dig into the side of this hill. So plunk and... So uh, a couple other mods as I work here. I know that vanilla Minecraft is not the most exciting thing to watch, so I'll try to keep my you know my conversation going as I work on this stuff. But uh, my first goal with the mod pack was to you know to copy Direwolf 20 in the sense that I wanted to make something as balanced. But I also wanted to do mods that are very different. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do there was um, use metallurgy the mod for ore generation and unify all ore generation around there and add just a ton of ores. Uh, I think it's oh, there's a it's a problem over there. I better go take care of that before that wolf eats all my sheep. And then we'll just grab a sword too. Um, I really wanted to, to have one place, one stop shopping as a mod pack configurator for ores. Oh boy, this wolf needs to... Sorry buddy, I don't like you. Don't mean to hurt you. So Metallurgy is a mod if you haven't heard of it before. Um, it does a lot of great stuff. Uh, chiefly, it, it adds just a ton of interesting metals and some very early machines that burn coal to double ores. Um, they are... some people have considered them op, although I think that that's kind of a ridiculous... 
Lucky me. Ooh, what's this? Uh, it's kind of a kind of a, a ridiculous idea. The idea that ore doubling should be expensive is reserved for grad tech fanatics at this point. We have applied energistics in this pack, which also provides a very, very, very early means of ore doubling. So the, anyone who says that ore doubling shouldn't be uh, an early aspect of things is just they don't understand the, the current meta of most of these mods. So um, I don't give it much credence. Don't really care so much about that right now. So let's just uh, get a little bit of a bridge here. As you can see, I'm just trying to get some stone and coal. Pretty standard stuff. I'm not going to dwell too much on what I'm working on, because I'm sure anyone with half a brain and half a year of experience in Minecraft could figure it out. Maybe half an hour, even. I need coal. I require fuel for burning. Uh, so, like I said, we have metallurgy. Uh, this pack is almost 100% ready for 1.5, but I'm running 1.4 for now. I'm just waiting on a few little things to get tidied up. And uh, I actually have some custom code written for this mod pack, too, to help bind things together and fix a couple of things the metallurgy guys haven't gotten around to doing yet. Um, because they've been busy. They actually, the metallurgy guys, like I was saying, they did the mod, they have been working on um, a tomb, which is a mod that won Mod Jam just recently. Uh, as I record this, I think it was just announced yesterday. And that's pretty exciting for them. Um, and it's a really good, their, their mod is pretty good. So, you know, congrats to them. They deserve it. Uh, I don't really understand how they won third place for a whole dimension, a whole bunch of art, and, a, and just a ton of work. Um, but, you know, that's the, apparently the coders all decided, and that's their prerogative and whatever. Uh, so, metallurgy, uh, like I said. We've also got um, the Grey Goo mod, which I'm really excited to have. It's just a really, really intense mod. That's It's kind of like... Uh, let's get some light in here. It's kind of like uh, the way that I first felt when I played Mistcraft, in that it's one of those mods that really defies expectations and changes the way you think about uh, Minecraft. Well, this will be a nice little way to control mobs coming in. That crystal there will act as a wonderful little catch for them, won't it? Well, let's get our little area here hollowed out and see if we can find, perchance, across any more coal. Anyways, um, so we don't have Thomcraft, although I'm considering adding that to the pack before I consider it final, because it is an amazing mod. Um, but we do have Ars Magica, which is a mod that I'm very excited to play with. I think it's one of the coolest magic mods, and it reminds me of like the early, early, like early pre-forge, pre-mod loader days of Minecraft modding, when I would go on a server and there'd be server-side only mods where you would like make multi-block structures in the ground that were teleportation circles and they were hugely complicated and only the server knew about them. So this little area is looking nice. Uh, I should go and see if I can raid another piece of wool for a bed before it gets too dark out. I know that these sheep don't respawn, but it looks like I have enough that I can pursue. Let's see, let's get this other brown guy. Nice consistent color. Die. Did I not get... Okay, cool. Yes. Can I get some good seeds? Uh... No, more can I don't want that. Oh, some regular seeds. Good. Yeah, I don't really care about my wooden sword's durability. Let's pick you up. And bring you into my little... Was it over here? Yeah, there we go. Let's just... Uh long a torch there so I don't forget. Yay. Anyways, um, the other thing I think that most people will be surprised at is uh, the lack of Industrial Craft 2. Um, I like Industrial Craft 2. I think it's a great mod. Um, I, Greg Tech is also really interesting. Gets a lot of respect from me for what they're trying to do. But I kind of feel like that mod is not evolving. And I, I played it a bunch, and it's great the way it is. But I want to try something different. Especially, we have modular power suits. Mach, uh, Machine Muse is a great modder, and, and her, she and her team have made an amazing mod that really, one of the things it does is gives you the freedom to not have Industrial Craft because it replaces almost all the tools. Uh, it doesn't replace the Greg Tech Rock Cutter. But uh, it does a lot of great stuff, and I'm happy to have it. Um, so with that, I've actually chosen instead to uh, to use universal electricity. Universal electricity is uh, I don't know Calvac. I don't even know how to pronounce this name. I should have checked it before I talked about it. Oh well, that's what outtakes are for. Yeah, like I'm gonna edit this. Uh, donk, 
good supply of coal here. Um, but universal electricity has ICBM, it has atomic science. I think that universal electricity's power system is just light years ahead of almost everyone else's, right? Um, it wasn't until thermal expansion that Billcraft even had a power system worth talking about. And uh, the only person, the only mod set that comes even close, I think, is Thomcraft and, and Ars Magica. They have really interesting power systems as well, but even with the addition of thermal expansion, it's still not really a contest. It's just what UE does is amazing, and they have just the most incredible, incredible multi-block structures. If you haven't seen the uh, particle accelerator and universal electricity run, you should try and find some videos of that, because it's just stunning to watch. It's crazy. Okay, we've got a little bit of room here. So I'm going to set up my first little base here. And it looks like it's still light outside, so I may go out and get a little bit more wood because I'm pretty well situated in here and ready to go mining. So let's just whip out this axe. And uh, gosh. Oh, oh, look at that over there. Hmm, what time is it? Oh, it's late in the day. Okay, well, I'm going to have to go exploring after the first night um, because that it looks like a piece of ours magical world gen. Uh, okay, so I'll keep talking about the pack because vanilla is not that exciting. I've got to keep telling myself that. Even though I personally love this part of Minecraft, I love this sensation. There's no, there's no mistakes. There's no sense that you have painted yourself to a corner. There's just opportunities. It's, I actually really like the establishing starting basis in Minecraft. Uh, sadly, it's one of the least exciting things to watch. I, I grant. Let's grab a few more of these. So cool looking, and you can replant them for light, which is what I'm actually going to do for now, because I don't strictly need them just yet. They're part of what you can do to make potions. Let's go uh, Just a few here, a few there. These just help, you know, mark the spawn for me and also keep it light, and hopefully we'll keep the uh, keep things to a minimum. There we go. So no ore yet. A little bit, little bit of work I can do here, so let's start by making a uh, furnace. Do, do, do. You know, let's just make two. Oh, you know what I should do? Yes, I'm sure someone at least, if there's anyone who watches, I'm sure the first thing they will say is, Dave, you should turn off cheat mode if you're going to do a Let's Play because legitimacy is important. I do not disagree. I'm going to save that one for a sec, though, because I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Um, so, uh, let's see. Mine Factory Reloaded is also in this pack. I think that Power Crystals is doing amazing work. Uh, what he's doing is super cool. His mods are awesome. He he. Uh, forestry is in this pack, but I think that Mine Factory Reloaded has set the new standard for what a uh, industrialized farming mod should be. I don't really understand what uh, Sir Sanger is doing with the current forestry uh, farms. I don't really think that it's good, though. Um, I mean, forestry is an awesome mod, and it has tons of cool stuff, but those multi-block farms are so expensive and so tedious to automate, and it's like I don't know why I would want to work that hard for that. It doesn't seem to be a big gain. And then there are other mods that make engaging and fun gameplay without the kind of the brutal uh, situation that you have with, with forestry, right? So I don't really see the point. All right, so uh, we probably have enough. Oh, did I not? What was I thinking? Because what I really wanted to do was make a bed, but of course I need three wool. Well, you know what? It's not dark enough yet that I can have to be too worried. Sheepy! Aha! I see monsters off in the distance. Don't mind me. Hopefully, any monster that comes in... I have to be careful of that, but... Is there a squid down there? Those little things are from Zycraft, which is also in this pack, and I think its, it's new tanks are indispensable. Um, so I definitely didn't want to be without it. Uh, but those quartz crystals do a little bit of damage, and they tend to catch mobs, especially when they fall on them, and just juggle them forever. So, I think that's fantastic. Alright, let's get rid of these mobs out here. So, black wool. Doot, doot, doot. We have this technology that controls time. It is called... Take a bed. Let's just get rid of nighttime before more mobs spawn. Ah! Um, so you can't see too much of it right now, but uh, biome generation is being done by Biomes Aplenty. I have used both Extreme Biomes and Biomes Aplenty, and I like Biomes Aplenty more. It, partially because it's novel, but also I just think that the, the amount of work that's been done, the artistry uh, on those biomes is just incredible. Alright, so before I go mining, 
like a beehive. I do have the Biomes of Plenty Forestry Integration mod, so there is no real fear of uh, bees not being available or anything from forestry not working right. It's all integrated. No problem at all. Let's go check this out, because I haven't actually... Wow, that's tall. Gotta keep an eye out for creepers. I know they're around. So this is an Ars Magica structure, obviously. I've, I've heard tell of these towers. Um, I've also heard that they are tough to get into unless you can fly. <gasps> A desert! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Does this have lava underneath it? What the heck? What is this thing? Okay. It's like hovering. I wonder if that's a world generator or... Well, let's not take any chances here. Da -da -da -da. Obsidian. That may be fun to try and get. Is there a door? Maybe I could just climb up like a staircase there, but... Um, it's like a rocket ship, isn't it? It's like an arcane rocket ship. <laughs> ah, there we have something. Is there... Oh, let's be careful here. Break. And. And. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of parkour to get up here. Oop. Let's just make it a little safer. Because there is lava down there. Oh, whoa. It's all enderstone, isn't it? Oh, wow. That's not a safe. <laughs> okay. Well, this place is not OSHA compliant. Why do these archmages work under such terrible... <gasps> Glowstone. This is going to be tricky to harvest, but I should take this. Oh, this stuff is super useful. Okay. Uh, let's do like this. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, what else do we got? You know what? Sure, I'm going to have all the cobble in the universe soon. I don't know if sneaking will work right with this, so let's... I love this little song. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, without... You know, it's going to be a little bit less than 100% efficient, isn't it? Oh, well. You know what? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, Dave. Right, um, so more about the mods that I've got. Um, so I don't see any value to this place. Is there any, like, secrets? Maybe there'd be a dungeon underneath? Oh, there's, there's wool here. There's a ton of it. Well, wool's not exactly rare for me in this spot. Hmm. Cheat map! Oh, it looks cool on the map. And I see I've got cacti, and I see some marble bees out there. Fantastic. This is a great spawn. And look at all these torches. I don't really need to raid them. I'll leave it lit up. But man, this is this is a heck of a spawn. I don't usually get spawns this good. The spawn that I made for Advancing Craft was probably the best spawn I ever did. Uh, Advancing Craft is a server that a bunch of us at Feed the Beast play. Okay, so as I recall, my home was off this way. You'll note I didn't set a waypoint, but I'm not exactly prissy about that. I probably will at some point set a waypoint. Um, let's go over here. Grab some zombie flesh. What's up, sheep? Uh, anyway, so Biomes of Plenty, um, I think it has a lot more really good biomes. And I'm just, I'm, I get very excited about new novel biomes. I did play around with it. I went to that Promised Land place, and whew, boy, is it cool. Um, it's a really neat biome, and the Magic Forest biome is, like, the coolest biome I have ever seen. It's this crazy biome with wood that delivers more heat and is super strong, but witches spawn there all the time, and, oh, man, it's a good... Hopefully I can find one to show you guys. Um, anyway, so I think probably the most controversial choice I made with this pack is because I'm going to move it up to um, 1.5 very, very soon, is I chose not to add Red Power 2. Uh, I, there's something of a kind of a perpetual controversy around River Power 2, so I didn't want to really um, get, I don't really want to get too caught up in that, except to say that uh, I'm of the opinion that I would rather not wait for Red Power 2. Okay, so while that's cooking up, a little bit of food tied me over. Pork chops are great food, actually. Let's do this. You know, we got enough for another one. And then we got even more wood waiting to be planked. Um... Yeah, so I'm I'm I figured what I would try and do is try to discipline myself to play without red power. It's actually kind of a challenge because red power is really good, right? Um, there's no denying that what it does, it does exceptionally well. So let's get that there. Let's toss these seeds in. You know, I may just pop those. I'm not big on growing corn. Let's get this in there. Well, no, it's not that good in there. Let's get half of this in there. 
Uh, I should get some more wood. Um, anyways, so, but, I mean, red power adds so much stuff, and some of it I can replace, and some of it I can't. Um, but I, I'm actually kind of excited to give a try. Oh, there's a jungle biome over here. I'd give a try at, at doing stuff without uh, red power. I think it's going to be challenging. I think it's going to be very, very difficult. Hey, look at that. That looks like a chasm. Make mining easier. Um, but I'm not afraid to try. I, I, I love, like I said, making new challenges for myself in Minecraft. And I love this part of it. So, um, you know, mixing, mixing and matching and making a new kind of challenge is going to be super exciting. So the reason I'm getting so much wood is because I'm going to be very coal hungry. And I'm probably going to start making charcoal very soon. Um, the reason being is that metallurgy gives us basically Stone Age level ore doubling. And I will show you. Because uh, I can build it before I even mine it. Oh, look! A mine factory reloaded rubber tree. Since we don't have Industrial Craft 2 installed, this unique look of tree is well, a thing to keep an eye for. It's kind of subtle, but it's this. And, but in this biome, it does stand out a little bit better. So, okay, that's right outside of base. Man, this is a great spawn. Right down this seed. Whoa. You know, I'm tempted to just do this. There we go. That'll help me a little. I may want to solve that problem. Okay, wooden door. Let's go through. I got food. I got some experience. Okay, I'm feeling good. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to go mining a little bit. I thought I'd mention a little bit about the mining experience. I tried to configure metallurgy and not leave it at default. I tried playing with it, actually, at the defaults, and it's really, really difficult. Um, some people mistakenly think... I think you can do eight per coal. Some people mistakenly think that they can just, um, if, if you change the mining level uh, to all levels for ore generation, that that makes uh, finding and mining things easier. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's actually a lot harder to mine when every ore spawns at every level because you do you can't like select what you're looking for. You can't just go down to the diamond level and know that you're in a hot zone, right? You just have to mine the heck out of every chunk you can find because if you don't, then you won't get lucky enough to find stuff. It's it's kind of crazy actually. Uh, okay, so we got two of these. We're gonna start the mining soon. Begin the mination can put this over here. Now, um, in preparation for that fuel cooking up, let's put a little bit more coal in there. I am going to build one of the first machines for metallurgy I was just mentioning a couple minutes ago. So if I recall, you put a furnace in the center, you put sticks in the corners, like so, and then you go dun, 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 dun. Nope, did I get it wrong? It's all, with these things where it's in the corners, like a, like a perimeter like this, I always get backwards. There we go, a stone crusher. A stone crusher is not unlike many other devices you have seen in that it takes coal and it takes ore and it produces outputs. But in this case, the stone crusher, through mechanical processes I cannot even begin to fathom, will produce dusts from ore, two per ore, just like you would expect from a macerator or a pulverizer. It's excruciatingly inefficient. So um, you don't want to rely on this sucker for long. But And uh, that's one of the reasons we're bringing up the coal. The other option we'd have is factorizations in this pack, because I like factorization overall. Uh, and I like its process, and I like its um, newly integrated uh, pro uh, technique for making steam, um, which I think is pretty cool. But uh, I, and, and we also have liquid metals, of course, so we don't strictly need it. But um, let's get these things all in there so they're nice and safe. Uh, okay, mining it is. Um, we'll just mine right next to bed. Anyways, um, I won't mine for too much longer, and I'm actually... Ooh, this is a... Uh, I think this is zinc ore from metallurgy. Yes. Zinc ore. Nice. Cool. Right. I'm being kind of scatterbrained as I talk. It's it's kind of, I'm honestly, I'm amazed at how difficult it is to both hold a conversation and go through even the most basic Minecraft actions. Um, I think I'll show you. We'll just toss this in, because why not? Zinc lets us, is part of the precious metals pack, I think, and lets us make brass. Brass is useful for a lot of things. So let's just toss this in, and I'll show you how agonizingly bad this is. Hopefully we'll find coal, but look at how slow this is. Oh my god. 
oh, it just consumes so much coal for so little output. We'll have to upgrade it soon. And we can upgrade it over and over and over. It takes a lot of resources to upgrade properly. But once you do, you have a pretty nice machine. Oh, look, coal, ideal. Um, so uh, I was saying that I did not include Red Power 2 and that there's a lot of challenges from there. I did try to build some packs, or build into the pack a lot of the options that Red Power 2 has. Right? One of those options uh, that we want to have is the is tubes because buildcraft pipes just kind of don't cut it and applied energistics um, while a very powerful mod that can do all sorts of things can be sometimes sort of overkill for what we want to do when it's just for a small processing pipeline or moving things from point A to point B. So I added um, the first thing I replaced was tubes and I added um, Imibis's infinite tubes. I love Imibis's. I hope I'm saying his name right. Uh, I've never heard anyone pronounce it the same way. But his, um, I love his mods. They're fantastic. He's a he's a really good coder, and um, he also has great policies for his mods. He has open inclusion. Not all his you know his mods have uh, open source. He's very open about what he does. I think that's fantastic, and I, we should reward that. So put those mods in. He also has Liquid XP, which I think is one of the coolest enchantment automation mods I have ever seen. I can't wait to use it. It is much, much more um, controlled. Oh, look, more zinc. Big, big zinc deposits around here. Much more controlled and less contrived feeling than some of the other mods that you will find that do auto enchantment. For example, I don't really like um, Mine Factory Reloaded's process for doing auto enchantment. Um, again, I power all glory to power crystals, etc., but not my thing. Uh, Liquid XP seems way better, and it it encourages you to um, still make books and do what you would with the vanilla, but adds a real twist to it. And I'll show you how that works later on. So we've got, and then finally, there's micro blocks. Um, so let's see where we're going. We'll go down this way. Just checking to see if any more of that zinc had spawned. And by the way, we can go over here and check it out. We'll just sleep the night away while we're here. Um, finally, from Imbus, we have his micro blocks. Uh, when we upgrade to 151, you'll see they work with almost everything that can auto detect. Uh oh. Uh oh. I hate this bug. Oh, I'm going to cut for a sec just to fix this bug. It's a, Mac, a Minecraft bug. Back to game. Right. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Um, his, his things, they work with a lot of stuff. So look, even though we've been gone and mining and I've been, you know, babbling for so long, there's no progress. These things are so slow. Anyone who calls these things overpowered is looked at them on paper and has not used them in practice. You have to upgrade them with eight metal bars over and over and over again to get to the point where they're not crazy. Uh, still, they're not crazy. And, uh, you know, we do want this stuff, so we're going to be using it. And look, we've got more charcoal. So actually, let's not use the... Well, it doesn't matter. It's all fuel. Fuel is fuel. Let's hope we find some useful metals soon. I probably will do take a page from Direwolf's book and do a bunch of mining off camera. Um, and I will do a bunch of mining because... Oh, what's this? Uh, because you really have to mine a lot in this pack, and that's by my design. Ooh. Potash. I don't really know what potash is useful for. Um, you're, you'll probably see here, though, I think that we'll find... Um, let's see. Ah, uh, yes. So here's another thing is that I have a mod that integrates, uh, it's called a uh, metal mechanism, integrates mechanism with with uh, metallurgy. So the universal electricity stuff. So here, if we use aluminum and potash, we make this un uh, very common uh, enriched alloy item. It's for a lot of upper end recipes and universal electricity mechanism. So it's pretty important. So we can do that. We can make fertilizer. Cool. And you're seeing the magical crops or Mark's crops recipe, uh, item there. Okay, so uh, enriched alloy and for fertilizer. Cool, 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 cool. Can definitely use that stuff. Uh, not super important, but it's not exactly bad to get. Um, not all ores in my configuration spawn at all places. I've set it up so it's a little bit like um, what Feed the Beast did in that uh, tin and copper have specific high dense high areas a couple of ores which I you probably all know about have higher it's like astral silver um, is placed higher up in the world and um, deep iron occurs low in the world so a couple things I did with the fantasy metals pack because I have every metallurgy pack in here I think it's great um, but we're still gonna go down because gold appears everywhere below 30 I think in this pack so we're gonna be trying to get down there for gold because I really do want to industrialize and one of the first things you need to get thermal expansion going is gold um, so 
there is a complaint about metallurgy that not all its metals work with the thermal expansion and universal electricity machines. I have a custom mod that does that. Um, it's not a very complicated mod, so and I, I mean to get more into modding, but that was a very trivial thing to do. Anyone who does modding will tell you. Oh, look. Is this even more? Gosh, we're finding all the same stuff. Nothing exciting. No, this is different. Ah, uh, you know what this is? This is sulfur. And uh, I don't have the mod in the non 1.51 pack. I will when I upgrade, you'll see. But this sulfur becomes interchangeable with um, with Railcraft sulfur, which is really useful for one specific thing in this pack, which is Zycraft sulfur torches, which are pretty and cool. And I heard a zombie. Uh, pretty cool and useful. Um, although I think that I'll probably not use torches once I learn some uh, Ars Magica. They have a really wonderful light spell. Do 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 do. We're already down to 39 and getting lower, so we should start to see metal soon. Um, I have increased this and the density of iron in this pack, so it's a little bit more common than vanilla. Um, this is in part because the game is exceptionally iron hungry, but also because uh, something that my alpha testers had a... Ooh, whoa, what have we found here? Is this a dungeon or is this a... Aha, this is... <gasps> is that a chest? It is. Where's my sword? Cut what you will. Wow, this is... This is an amazing spawn. Okay, I just want to put that out there. This is an amazing spawn. So let's brick this up. Brick that up. Um, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then let's do this. Okay, so this is a problem. Okay, they're fighting. Cool. Oh boy, I may have just sealed my fate. No, 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 fight. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I can't talk. Oh. Okay. Okay. Whoop. Gotta get lit. Gotta get it lit. Gotta get it lit. Ow. Okay. That may be enough to stop the spawning. Sorry, I couldn't talk there. That was pretty intense. My Minecraft skills. Oh, look. Logic matrix, iron, wheat, a little bit of redstone, string, cactus green, provisions, and uh, we are burning this to the ground. Well, um, lucky me, huh? And then we got another chest over here. Some copper, more copper, iron, lead, and a saddle. Okay, well, um, fantastic. Let's just uh, steal a rail. Wall this up so that it's a nice little, uh, you know, safe zone. I see some metallurgy ore up here. Let's check it out. It is aluminum. Ah, and there's some applied energistic quartz. I don't know if you guys have, how many people have actually got a chance to really play with applied energistics, uh, but it is crazy quartz hungry. There's just no limit to your need for quartz. And look, stone bees, hooray! Uh, you know what, let's, we don't really have enough provisions to go on an extended, extended raid. Let's take this and run. I sort of know when you, do, it's, it's, it's so easy to get greedy when you're exploring these things. Uh, but it, may, it makes a lot more sense to like establish a base. I think sort of there's some Zycraft aluminum, which is different from everyone else's aluminum and that it's misspelled. Uh, here's some Osmium from thermal or from universal electricity and uh, it's kind of cool that there is this this nice thing here it'll be quite useful later on okay got a ton of what looks to be coal around here so let's ration out a bit more of our coal and I will make a uh, few more torches and I think I'm getting to the point where I should probably call it quits let you stop listening to my droning and blathering and uh, call it an episode. So I'm really excited about this spawn. I am I had a pretty good time doing this uh, YouTube thing. I at least enjoy talking about Resident Rise. Um, I don't know if everybody appreciates the art of mod pack creation as much as I have, uh, but I really do enjoy it. I think it's fantastic. I think it's fun. I think it's actually a challenge because uh, especially if you can't write any custom code, which I, I can. I'm lucky enough to already know how to code and pretty familiar with Java. Um, but if you can't, you know, write your own code, it becomes a real interesting challenge trying to make sure that everything works out. 
Who that looks to be Vintium ore from Ars Magica. That stuff smelts down to very, very useful stuff. And uh, in the 1.5 version of the pack, you can actually double it. Uh, I, I added some stuff to double it. It's not part of the thing. I'll grab some of the Zycraft Zycorium just because it can be useful. And we'll finish this up. Um, so, I'm probably, I haven't really shown you anything new about this pack, and I apologize for that. But it, of course, um, this pack requires more effort mining. Um, so I will definitely do some off-camera mining, and then I will try and do another episode soon where I have come back from successful mining runs, and I will show you what I have. But I, uh, I'm coming back with a couple interesting things. I have one redstone, and it actually, if I do some right mining, that's enough to make all the redstone I need. Um, so anyone who's looked at I'm going to talk a little bit ahead of the actual state of the game, uh, just to make a point. Anyone who's played... Uh, with Ars Magica knows that there's this device called the Fabricator. And this Fabricator can basically, you give it a recipe, and it executes on that recipe over and over and over and over and over. Um, but instead of using the ingredients, it uses uh, like basically power, Ars Magica's power, um, for that those ingredients. And so anything it understands the power value for, it will be able to fabricate. And that's a very powerful ability. And it so here's the thing. It knows about gold nuggets. It knows about iron nuggets. And it knows about um, the values of those. So you can actually have infinite metals. You can have infinite redstone. So <laughs> there's a couple things you can have infinite of. So um, upon learning about that, I first I was like, well, it's up. But eh, you know, it's not really up. It's just a different thing. Um, let's do this. Uh, I realized that um, I should put in Magical Crops because I like the mod. It's one of the few mods I feel like that really does a good job at uh, giving more crops and a lot of reasons to do to use them. So let's just chuck our unsmeltable spoils up in here. Oh, it's great that we got wheat. That will be super useful soon. Um, let's make this... You know what? No. Let's, let's organize things a little differently. This is my this is my non-organics. This is my organics. Let's yank these guys out. Is glowstone organic? No, it's not organic. But I like to pretend that these logic programmers are little faces. So they're yeah organic. Uh, let's get that stuff in there. Here, leather organic. String comes from spider butt. Organic bone. Yes. Uh. We'll leave the food there for now. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Uh, this is my first attempt, so I had to do a little bit of editing madness. I hope I get better at this over time. But one of the things I've learned is when cropping down your screen uh, to do some video, don't subsequently move the window outside of the crop area. It's impossible to fix with editing, and it destroys footage. But it doesn't really have any impact because I didn't do much more. So don't sweat it, um, and I will just go ahead and sign off here. I don't have any pithy sayings yet. Uh, I don't have a Direwolf 20, thank you, take it easy, thank you very much, whatever. So I'm just going to say goodbye.